So today I was recording um, some videos and also creating some images which I was going to uh, batch into uh, Photoshop and have mortar marks. So I had a couple gigs worth of photos of items I was going to list and sell. Well, turns out that stupid me, I deleted the wrong file and I deleted the entire SD card. So I'm going to presume that you've lost a lot of stuff either on an external drive or an SD card like I did. Now the good news is that I figured out exactly how to fix it real quick, real painlessly, and for free. So here's how you do it. What you got to do is just go on to Google and you're going to search for zero assumption recovery. That's what this site does. Um, they specialize in RAID recovery, uh, SD cards, uh, partition losses, all that kind of stuff. For me, I was just a basic SD card, no big deal. The information, believe it or not, whether if you delete your SD card and you can't find the files and you've tried everything you can on your computer, don't give up hope. Don't think that the files are gone because on some lower level, all that information is still on that SD card, but you need a program such as this to pull it out and create a new file so that way you can recover it, restore it, and then you can go back to your to your work that you were doing prior to the horrible loss that occurred, right? So for me, what I did is I downloaded this, this file, put it onto my um, desktop, totally free, no money. This is what it looks like when it's done. When you open it up, it's very straightforward to use. Nothing complicated, almost anybody can do this. You hit image recovery, which is free. It'll automatically go through your whole computer choose the file where the problem occurred for me was the sd card you hit that hit next and it'll just go through the whole file it'll bring the whole thing up it'll start making all these little boxes kind of like a computer does when it defragments when it's all said and done this is what it's going to look like this here is the file for my images that i was using to sell it was a bunch of speakers and, uh, tweeters crossovers speaker grills and stuff like that so once you have that do what you got to do, list them as is, or for me, I have to go back into Photoshop, re-watermark the batch, and then do my thing. So that's really all there is to it. So for me, um, this thing works awesome. ZAR, it's a little weird, zero assumption, zero assumption recovery. It's a little hard to pronounce, but believe me, this thing works awesome. So I definitely recommend it. If you're in a pickle, you lost your pictures, give this thing a look-see. This thing works amazing.